Good morning. Welcome to Costa Texpina. We're on build day number 21. Whoop, get you out of the sun. Um, this morning we've already got the uh, exterminators on site uh, working quickly um, <clears throat> and early this morning. Um, doing a reapplication. Pardon me, still waking up. <clears throat> doing a reapplication of the uh, pesticides for the termites now that we've got uh, the concrete hollow blocks, uh, the foundation walls already in place. Uh, so let's take a quick look at what they're doing. what they're doing so let's get started so the guys are mixing the solution in the barrel um, and then they're gonna uh, they use an electric motor here uh, to push it out to the sprayers so this is kind of like a uh, think of it like a pressure wash system um, and they just got the uh, the siphon end hooked into the pesticide uh, and they push it out to two <coughs> two separate sprayers um, one over here the guy's going to continue once they get the spray uh, once they get the pesticide mixed and then one on the other end so they're hitting both sides at the same time uh, or sorry both sides of the house at the same time um, they're hitting the inside and outside of the concrete wall <coughs> Uh, concrete hollow block so that they're uh, covering both sides as well as the um, the concrete foundation that was already put in place uh, a couple days ago so again this is just a reapplication getting a much better much more thorough application today um, the one they were having some technical issues the last time they were out before as we were doing the concrete pour and their uh, pressure washer wasn't uh, working so they were doing it by hand uh, bucket style take a bucket take a scoop spread it about uh, kind of hit or miss uh, this is a, a much more thorough application more accurate um, covering the area uh, much better much better job in this area over here the uh, gentlemen found an active mound so they uh, broke it up agitated it a little bit and then sprayed it some more uh, really making sure to get everywhere that they can uh, with the application like I said this this application with the power wash is by far much better than what they had previously so on this side of the house we've got some of our, our normal crew out here and they have uh, started locating some of the non-linear walls so not the north north south east west type walls um, this particular area they're doing the walls for the, um, the study or the office um, so he's gonna start digging that out and dig it down to uh, 1.3 meters below uh, finished floor grade um, and then they'll put in the uh, concrete hollow block foundation wall for that area as well a little bit at a time the uh, floor plan is being revealed mr. Orley and mr. Manny over here in the uh, green and blue shirt here are starting to put in another one of the uh, grade beams so the first thing they do is line up where all the stirrups are gonna go um, and then they'll put the uh, the rebars for the top and bottom of the the rebar of the, of the beam into look into place uh, through those uh, stirrups and then they'll spread them out to the uh, appropriate location that's already been marked so uh, mr. Orley had already gone out with a, uh, a tape measure marked the appropriate locations for the stirrups and uh, when they get the rebars through for the top and bottoms of the the beam then they put everything into place exterminator is doing a really good thorough job um, they've also locating some of the mounds outside of the uh, perimeter of the floor plan. 
Oh yeah. Oh grub worms and <clears throat> oh that's the queen. So we got termites. He got he found one of the queens. Looked like a fat grub worm, but it's a termite. Lots of termites. So they're gonna spray these. Kill the kill the hive. Kill the bed. So they've dug out the uh, the mound, spraying it as well. So we had a big mound in the uh, lot adjacent to us which was really close um, so they dug it out until they found the ball in the center which is where the queen was hiding once they found the queen opened it up and just sprayed pesticide all over it so that mound is going to be dead I'd like to take a moment to discuss a public service announcement basically for uh, prospective builders uh, and owners. Um, take the time to make yourself available to be on site on a regular basis. It doesn't necessarily have to be every day and it doesn't necessarily need to be from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. or whatever the business hours or work hours that they're going to be on the site, um, but make yourself available. Make sure that you check in the site on a regular basis. Uh, go over the plans. Uh, make sure you're familiar with them. Um, even though you see the uh, the foreman and the skilled laborers out there uh, measuring and locating where everything is going, go behind them and check. Um, it's always good to double check a measurement and make sure that it's right before um, they start cutting, they start digging. Um, it, it's a good idea. Um, how Home Depot used to say before, measure, measure twice, cut once. Um, same idea. Um, the other benefit of being on site on a regular basis, if the foreman or the engineer have a question for you, you're available to answer the questions and vice versa. If you're, you've got questions for them, you've got a concern, um, you see something that doesn't quite look right. You can always bring that question back up to the foreman and to the uh, engineer when they're on site as well. Um, another benefit, when you see something that looks amiss, whether it's overlooked detail or if it's just a difference of construction methods, because you will see that, especially if you're coming to build here in the Philippines. The way we do things in the States is not the way they do here, th things here in the Philippines. But the construction generally lasts a very long time, um, withstands the earthquakes, withstands the typhoons. It is a little different than how we normally construct in the States. So coming here, there may be some slight differences. Um, be aware of those as you're coming in. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, make sure you ask the foreman. If you don't get the answer you're looking for, then talk to the engineer. Uh, be open to new ideas. Uh, there are different ways of doing things. Uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so to say. Um, so, one thing I, I would like to really stress is make sure that you make the time to be available to be on site for day-to-day -day oversight, as well as for um, the conversations back and forth between yourself and the engineer and the builders that you've hired to construct your home. Um, in the end, it's going to benefit you. Uh, you'll feel better. Uh, you'll have a peace of mind that you were there and you overlooked all the aspects of the building. So, 
like I said, make sure you're available. Try to be on site. So the workers on site are putting the forms, starting to put forms on the columns uh, and they'll be getting ready to pour these in the next couple days. So we're digging out some more of the walls. This is the uh, wall for the office or study. Um, still got a little bit of digging to do. He's going to go down to uh, 1.3 meters below uh, finished floor. And they'll put in a foundation wall down here as well. Over on this side, the gentleman in the corner over here, they're digging out the foundation wall that's going to go underneath the uh, the opening between the breakfast nook and the ba back patio. So back patio on this side, breakfast nook on this side, um, where the gentleman is on the other side of the the other side of the column is the top of the dirty kitchen. Uh, same thing. This gentleman here is digging out what's basically going to be the hallway dirty kitchen on this side of him and hallway this side going out into the garage and coming into the kitchen this area this area here is going to be all kitchen um, this is the wall separating the kitchen from the great room uh, from the end of this wall from the end of this wall out about two meters is going to be a breakfast bar so you won't see it at this level but you will see it later uh, in the, the finishing. This is one of the inline columns uh, along the side of the wall. Uh, concrete poured in from the top, down the chute, goes into the hole, and they just get it up to level of the elevation of the bottom of the grade beam. Racing's along the base of the forms, make sure they don't blow out at the bottom. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're only pouring about four feet of concrete here so it's top of this hollow block is where they're pouring to so it's the base of the grade beam all right that's the end of Casa Tex Pina build day number 21 so um, today uh, when we first arrived on site the uh, exterminators were here and they were going through and doing a reapplication of the uh, pesticide for the, all of the floor plan area. Uh, they did find a couple of active mounds. One was inside the floor plan. They dug it, dug it up and uh, sprayed it down so it's, it's done. 
Um, then they found a couple on the outside of the floor plan area, but within the within the proximity of the the lots. Uh, one was on our lot, one was on the adjacent lot. Um, but it was a large mound to be of concern, so they went ahead and took care of those for us. Um, and uh, dug into it, buried, uh, dug out the uh, the queen, and put the queen down. So <clears throat> those are taken care of. Uh, they said they will be back to do another application before they put the concrete slabs for the flooring. Um, other news for today, um, the workers continued to uh, fabricate the grade beams and the remainder of the uh, concrete uh, hollow block foundation walls up to the bottom of the grade beams. Um, in addition to that, uh, they also started forming uh, some of the columns um, with the um, downspouts for the hidden gutter that I showed you yesterday. Um, so that was the wrap for this afternoon. That's uh, pretty much what they were taking care of all day today. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these, hit the Casa Tex Pina star in the bottom right hand corner and you'll be subscribed. Hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified when our next upload is available. Uh, until then, have a good afternoon and a blessed day. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.